What's going on, everybody? Just want to make a quick video update. Picked up Ultimate Marvelous Capcom 3 last night, and uh, I played about an hour's worth, probably like five minutes on each of the 12 new characters, just to see what they look like. I haven't been following any of the updated videos or anything, so I didn't know who was really in it. So I spent, you know, about an hour, I think I did the missions for each character, the new characters, I did like the first eight or nine in each. Um, the mechanics are still the same, so it was sort of familiar uh, with the old style. Unfortunately, when the first one came out, I only played it for about two weeks, and that's about it. Uh, it wasn't because I didn't like the game, it's, a, it's just that at that time I was really trying to play Street Fighter 4 and get better at that game. I was spending a lot of time with that, um, and uh, the, the amount of time it would have took me to get good at Marvel, I would have just had to stop playing Street Fighter 4, because I, I didn't have enough time to begin with. So I had to kind of like choose, and at that time, Street Fighter 4 won. Uh, right now, I'm kind of like uh, bored of Arcade Edition. I mean, it really didn't add anything to the game for me, besides the new characters, and, um, you know, it's kind of like, it's just getting old. I mean, I do like Street Fighter 4, and I will continue to play it, but right now, I don't really feel like I need to keep playing it every single day, you know, for example. I can play it once in a while to have fun, but otherwise, um, it's going to be patched in the uh, next month or so. Not that it's going to make much of a difference anyway, it's just basically tweaks on damage and stun and stuff like that. And uh, it's not going to be game-breaking stuff. It's not going to make that much of a difference to me. But uh, I'm still just going to take a break from that game. I'm really going to try to learn Marvel this time. I know last time I said I was going to, but I didn't really know much about that game. Now I've been watching a lot of videos. I know the potential of the game. I know they fixed a lot of the issues from the first one. And this one looks pretty good. And like I said, I do like Marvel. And uh, I always wanted to get good at it. And now I'm going to take the opportunity and start doing that now. So what that means is, like I always do with all the fighting games, I'm going to try. Last time I only did a couple of the mission modes, uh, but this time I'm going to um, try to do all the mission modes. And I'm going to record it. I'm going to have you know picture-in-picture -picture deal like I usually do. And I already did a bunch of them just to see if I could still remember how to play the game. And uh, I can still do it. It's not hard, obviously. But uh, I'll try to, get through, try to get through them all as quickly as I can. Um, this next couple of days, I'm probably just going to play on my own. I'm not going to record because it, it's a lot easier for me to know what I'm doing before I start. Because unfortunately, in, in the mission mode, just like before, they tell you the name of the moves. Well, of course, there's like 48 characters. I don't remember the name of every move for every single character. So in order to do like a simple level one mission, or mission one, I guess they would call it, I have to hit back button, read what the move is, go back to it, and then do the move. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to prepare myself a little bit, get start with one character, learn all his moves, go through the mission mode, do the explanations, and move on to the next character. And hopefully it'll work out, hopefully it'll be smooth, and hopefully you guys will enjoy those videos when they start coming. So uh, I'll probably start on that this week, and I don't know if I'm going to start from the Capcom side and go down, or just pick random and do just a certain character that I know I can do, or do the hardest characters for it. Sometimes I like to do that. So... Uh, you know, we'll see, but I do uh, look forward to doing those, and yeah, I guess I'm just going to try to get good at this game as quick as I can, since it's really similar to the first one in a lot of ways, but fortunately for me, I never got good at that game, so I can kind of relearn the game, and uh, relearn the styles, how X-Factor works, how all, you know, just, just learning the differences. I don't have to learn the differences because I don't really know what they are. I just got to learn how this game runs and just try to get good at it. And uh, so you might see me online playing this game. Feel free to send me an invite, but I can't guarantee I will play you just because I might be recording, I might be training, or I might still just be learning the game still. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much it for this video. So uh, hopefully those videos will come out soon. Other than that, uh, I'll catch you guys later.